Hey, what's up, Hognose fans? Thanks for tuning in to Hognose One. So we've covered in the last few videos how to price the value of our baby hognose snakes that we've created for resale purposes. How do we price those for resale online? How do we price those for resale at a show? I want to talk about another option that exists that a lot of folks that scale, I would say if you've got 20 or more animals, this would be a viable option for you. Basically, you would get them going like normal. And once they got their regimen of feeds, I suggest having 10 meals on unscented pinkies. Then you would talk to breeders about wholesaling. So wholesale may be intimidating. You may think, oh, I don't know if I want to wholesale, but it works very well if you have a very busy life. Maybe you're a single parent and have a bunch of kids and have a lot of pet kids like dogs and cats or other exotics. Maybe you have multiple jobs. Uh, maybe you have a significant other and have all of the above. Whatever the case may be, we all have very busy lives. And sometimes we want to contribute as much care as we can to our hognose. We know they deserve that. But if we're unable to do that, one viable option is to do wholesale. Now, wholesale comes from the term whole, W-H-O-L-E, and it just means an aggregate or group of items that's sold to another person who acts as a broker or who acts as a buyer, and they pick up all the legwork, meaning they are responsible now for the housing, for the care, for the feeding of each one of those animals. And there are good quality people to wholesale to. We've got it in our heads recently because there are some terrible apples out there that are bad wholesalers and bad brokers that really do not care for the hognose snake and just want to sell those to people at shows or other places without ever getting them feeding, without ever getting them going. And we all see them come to the forums and say, I can't figure out how to get my snake feeding, or my snake is skinny, or my snake has mites, or my snake has this and that physiological problem. And the reality is there, a lot of times those were flipped animals. They were just somebody that didn't care was the middle person, or somebody that didn't care was the breeder. And we definitely want to get away from that. But the point I want to make here is lots of breeders, in fact, probably some of the top breeders in the U.S., hognose breeders, do accumulate quality animals from their customers, meaning that if they sell you a male and female pair, you can go back to them at a later time and say, hey, I've got quality animals from this pairing. Are you interested in buying my animals at a wholesale rate? And the going price generally right now for wholesale is 50% of fair market retail value. Now, remember we talked about looking at Morph Market at the sales comps. Those give us a closer look at what value a hognose snake has in general. But again, those are just sticker prices. Sometimes those prices are lower, maybe 20% lower than that, sometimes 30% lower depending on the market. So wholesale is half of that reduced number. So you may look at it and go, why am I only getting 50%? Well, because you're removing your own legwork, you're getting a lump sum payment, and you're able to send those animals out so you can focus on the projects you really want to work on, and you can focus on the other busy stuff that we all have going on in our lives. So wholesale is a very beneficial thing and can be as long as you're sending them to an entity that you know is going to care for your snake. They're going to do them well until the time that they're exported or until the time they find a quality and suitable home for them. So typically in a wholesale situation, you are prepaid for your animals. You will gather them together and ship them to that entity. They will uh, maybe meet you at a show or you can meet in person if you're close enough and take those animals to them so that they can see them and see that, yes, they are top quality. Again, typically in this situation, most newer, at least in the last 10 years, everyone pays before you ship. If you ship a group of animals to a wholesaler, there is a chance that you may never get payment. I had a friend that sent 10 anacondas to another individual that was supposed to be a wholesale deal. 
And to this day, it's been 10 years, he's never gotten paid. So you always want to make sure that you get paid first for that. They also pay for the shipping. That's just an industry standard. Any wholesaler I've ever worked with or somebody that purchases for export, they pay for the shipping. I am responsible for those animals from the time I deliver them to the time that FedEx or whoever else takes those animals in hand. And I, you can put that in your store policy on Morph Market. But these are some things to think about for wholesaling that I think are viable, could be a good option for you. And as long as you pick your breeder well that's going to get those animals from you, you've got top quality animals that's good stock. I think it's a win-win for everyone, especially if you have a busy life. I hope this tutorial has been a benefit to you just to learn and understand some different things. Feel free to drop a comment below if you've got something you would like to say about that. And as always, thank you for your like and subscription to this channel. We're continually producing more content that we know you'll love. Catch you guys on the flip side.